This video will provide an explanation related to electrical power transmission. The contents covered in this video include Examining the historical progression of electrical power transmission, this discussion serves as an introduction to the foundational aspects of this field. Within this context, we'll delve into some fundamental definitions associated with electrical power transmission. History of electrical power transmission The history of electrical power transmission includes early methods such as teledynamic, involving cable in motion, pneumatic, utilizing pressurized air, and hydraulic, involving pressurized fluid transmission. In 1882, supported by funding from J.P. Morgan, Edison initiated the enterprises that would later become General Electric. In September of the same year, he inaugurated the first central power plant in the United States, located in Lower Manhattan. Challenges in Early Electric Power Transmission The transmission of electric power faced two challenges during this period. Firstly, devices with different voltage requirements necessitated specialized generators with dedicated lines. Secondly, generators had to be positioned in relatively close proximity to their respective loads. Introduction to Electrical Power Transmission Electrical power transmission is a crucial aspect of the electrical energy infrastructure, facilitating the efficient transfer of electricity from power generation sources to end users. This process involves the bulk transfer of electrical power from power plants, where electricity is generated, to substations and eventually to distribution networks that serve homes, businesses, and industries. Generation of Electricity Electrical power is generated at power plants through various methods, including fossil fuels, coal, natural gas, nuclear energy, renewable sources, wind, solar, hydro, and others. Transmission substations. After electricity is generated, it is sent to transmission substations. These substations play a crucial role in transforming the voltage levels for efficient long-distance transmission. High voltage transmission. High voltage is used for long-distance power transmission. This reduces energy losses during transmission, as power loss is proportional to the square of the current and inversely proportional to the voltage. Transmission line, a line that carries electricity at voltages of 66 kV or greater and is used to transmit electric power over relatively long distances, usually from a central generating station to main substations. These lines can be overhead lines supported by towers or underground cables. Switching station, a part of an electrical transmission system that ties two or more electric circuits together through switches to permit a circuit to be disconnected or to change the electric connection between circuits. Substation. A substation is a key component in the electrical power system that plays a crucial role in the transmission and distribution of electrical energy. It serves as an intermediary point between the high voltage transmission system and the lower voltage distribution system. Substations perform various functions, including voltage transformation, circuit protection, and control of power flow. Distribution line, a line that carries electricity at lower voltages of 11 kV to 33 kV and is used to distribute power drawn from high-voltage transmission systems to end-use customers. Electric load, electricity consumers, such as residences, businesses, and government centers that use electricity. There are three types of electrical loads. They vary according to their leading or lagging time relationship between voltage and current. The three load types are resistive, inductive, and capacitive. The resistance in a wire, conductor, causes friction and reduces the amount of current flow if the voltage remains constant. Byproducts of this electrical friction are heat and light. Inductive loads require a magnetic field to operate. All electrical loads that have a coil of wire to produce the magnetic field are called inductive loads. A capacitor is a device made of two metal conductors separated by an insulator called a dielectric, air, paper, glass, and other non-conductive materials. Alternating current, AC electric current in which the direction of the current's flow is reversed or alternated at 50 Hz. Direct current, DC electric current flows continuously in the same direction as contrasted with alternating current. AC versus DC transmission. Transmission lines can use alternating current AC or direct current DC. 
AC is commonly used for long-distance transmission due to its ability to easily change voltage levels using transformers, while DC is employed for specific applications such as undersea cables. Transmission structures, used to keep high-voltage conductors, power lines, separated from their surroundings and from each other. Electric magnetic fields, EMF invisible areas of energy, often referred to as radiation, that are associated with the use of electric power. EMFs fall into one of two radioactive categories, non-ionizing, low level of radiation, or ionizing, high level of radiation. Role of transformers. Transformers are vital components in power transmission. They step up the voltage for efficient long-distance transmission and then step it down at substations closer to the end users. Grid systems. Power transmission is organized into grid systems, which consist of interconnected networks of transmission lines, substations, and distribution systems. Grids enhance the reliability and stability of power supply. Challenges in power transmission. Challenges in power transmission include energy losses, environmental impact, and the need for continuous maintenance and upgrades of the infrastructure. Smart grids. Advancements in technology have led to the development of smart grids. Incorporating digital communication and control systems to enhance efficiency, reliability, and sustainability in power transmission. Voltage. Electric pressure measured in volts. Power systems are typically measured in 1000s volts or kV. Watt unit of electrical power. 1 megawatt is 1 million watts. Energy. The amount of work that can be done by electricity, typically measured in kilowatt hours, kilowatt hour, or megawatt hours, MWH, dot, power, rate at which electricity does work. Measured in watts or kilowatts, KW, or megawatts, MW, dot, interconnection, points on a grid or network where two or more transmission lines are connected at a substation or switching station, or where one stage of the energy supply chain meets the next. Load center, a particular geographical area where energy is used. Most commonly refers to an area within a utilities service territory where energy demand is highest, i.e. cities, major industrial areas, etc. Shield and ground wire, used primarily for protection from lightning strikes and corresponding surges. Insulators, used to contain, separate, or support electrical conductors, conductors, Metal cables used for carrying electric current, foundation. System which transfers to the ground the various dead and live loads of the tower and conductors. Thank you for viewing the video. If you liked it, please consider hitting the like button, subscribing to my channel, and sharing it with your friends.